What's up guys? I have a good video for you today. I am watching it now. It's all right. Let's review Minchin's tune, and I know some other world top pilots are using it. And now Betaflight has a preset for it with all the tuning parameters directly from Minchin drone. And maybe it even comes with a little bit of his skill. I guess Black Box will show it. Besides the tune, we're gonna check a full CLI diff from Minchin's drone because maybe we're gonna find some secrets there. But first, let me call to my expert, the undisputable fastest drone racer in the world and a pretty talented freestyler. Hey Minchin. Hey, what's up, Limon? How do I make my quad go as fast as yours? If you want your quad fly really fast, first, you have to throw your quad really hard. I will show you right now. Did you see? That quad we go really, really fast. All right, let's dive right in. Where? There. You see, I'm not fast enough to do this like. A few days ago, I've added Minchen 2022 race presets to official Betaflight presets repository, so everyone can use them. You just type Minchen here, and there we go. In Betaflight Configurator 10.8, you will see two presets. One is for Betaflight 4.3, and the other is for 4.4. This is a little bug in Betaflight Configurator, and for the next version, by default, you're not gonna see the presets that are not compatible with your currently plugged in flight controller. Of course we're gonna use this preset, it only changes the tuning parameters. But today we got the opportunity to check a full diff from Minchin's quad and see maybe he has some other secret settings that are not related to tuning. Let's see, some port settings, some aux settings, I think this is just arming and uh, leap over after crash. Feels weird, like digging into dirty laundry. A VTX table, that's a little bit strange, I thought he's using Ghost with the hybrid boards, but maybe it's just a leftover from his previous drones on TBS. Some tuning parameters, we're gonna come back to them a little bit later. Of course, accelerometer off, min check and max check, 1000 and 2000. This gives you more throttle resolution, than by default. The downside is that you need to check that your radio actually goes from 1000 to 2000. Otherwise, you might never go full throttle or zero throttle. There we go, he flies immersion ghost for the receiver. Of course, bi-directional D-shot on with RPM filters. D-shot 600 because I guess it's Fox here F7. This is pretty weird, he uses motor reordering, which usually not needed when you use FC and ESC from the same stack. Weird board alignment, doesn't really matter. He flies motor spinning out. Some OSD settings. He uses all warnings off. I guess he doesn't like to see any warnings while he races. He likes to see his current throttle on OSD. I guess because it shows CAC when he goes full throttle. Because he uses Betaflight CAC mode. I have a video about that. He uses a little weird RPM settings, but we're gonna come back to that a little bit later. More tuning parameters. Some custom PID values. He doesn't use sliders for PIDs and his rates. There is also a preset for his rate separately, so you can check it out. All right, finally, Minchin Tune in comparison with Karate Tune. So he uses a little bit higher P and I values, and this is a little bit weird because I know he runs these Champion Edition motors 2070 kV, which is a little bit high, and usually people need to lower their PIDs from Karate Tune, but he raised them and it works for him. The D values are pretty much the same as Karate Tune, and Feed Forward is a little bit higher than Karate Tune. Parameters on the right side are pretty much the same as Karate, except he uses 3.5 anti-gravity gain against 3.0 on Karate Tune. Now, interesting part, filters. I guess it's the same boring as PIDs. So for gyro filters, he used slider at 1.5 value, which is way less spicy than karate. Interesting. For RPM filters, he uses 200 Hz for gyro RPM filter mean frequency. This won't allow RPM filters to go below 200 Hz. By default and for karate preset, it's on 100. So for Minchin's tune, when your motor spinning slow, then your RPM filters are not gonna do much. I guess Minchin's motors never spinning slow so for him it doesn't matter. 
Dynamic notch parameters also pretty interesting. He uses mean frequency 250 Hz, which is a little bit high. So for him, dynamic notch filters are not gonna do anything below 250 Hz. And I'm just saying, a lot of frames out there do have resonances below 250 Hz. So if you try his preset and your drone goes, <laughs> then you might want to lower this value to like 100 Hz or 150 Hz. The only downside in lowering this value is that you're losing a little bit of resolution for how precise dynamic notch finds the noise peaks but it's not much you can also try to increase the dynamic notch count to two or three if you have some problems detail filters you can see he set slider to 2.0 but the slider is off so it's not being used low pass one filter is way higher than karate and low pass two filter is like way lower than karate and he has your low pass filter completely off which is not a big deal if your yaw is not noisy your yaw your yaw it's pretty hard to compare low pass filters on gyro and d-term like that so i asked mr karate broad for his fancy plots. And if you're not familiar with these plots i have a whole video about low pass filters you need to check it out this oh, zero oh, latency. Oh, is this? Oh, that's got latency. Link will be in the description. This is a comparison of gyro filters, karate tune versus minchan tune. Dash lines are filters on low throttle, and solid lines are filters at high throttle. Top plot is magnitude, so we can see how strong filters are, and bottom plot is delay in milliseconds. And you can see at low throttle. Minchin and Karate Tune are pretty much the same for Gyro Low Pass filters. They have the same attenuation and, of course, almost the same delay. At high throttle, Minchin's tune is a little bit more aggressive for Gyro Low Pass filters. You can see it has a little bit less delay and it filters a little bit less, but the difference is still pretty small. d Low Pass filters are way different between Minchin and Karate Tune. You can see that at both low and high throttle, Minchin's tune has extra 1 millisecond delay, even a little bit more than 1 millisecond. But your motors should be running a little bit more cooler, at least if you're looking at low pass filter settings. Now let's fly! First Minchin preset, then Karate preset, record black box and compare. MPU, uh, Minchin preset. That looked like a real Minchin DVR, but that was mine with 2000% speed up. First, let's check the black box, and I'm gonna talk about my feelings a little bit later. So let's check the noise situation in PID toolbox by Mr. Brian White. The red one is Minchin preset, and the dark red is Karate preset. So because it's the same quad, just with the different tunes, and I was trying to do the same moves, these pre-filter gyro plots are expectedly the same. These are gyro plots after filtering, and now we can see some difference. First, I wanna pay attention to these values and give a huge shout out to Mr. Brian White. So he uses his fancy MATLAB to roughly estimate the gyro filter delay and deterrent filter delay based on your black box that you upload. And I'm gonna say that these values are pretty close to Karate Bro theoretical plots. This is pretty impressive. I guess it shouldn't be impressive, but it is pretty impressive. And if you're not impressed, Get the fuck out of here! So you remember that gyro low pass filters are pretty close between karate tune and minchin tune. So the difference you see here is caused by different parameters for dynamic notch filters and for RPM filters. For example, this peak at 200 Hz is not being addressed in the minchin tune because dynamic notch filter there doesn't go below 250 Hz. In this case it's not a big deal because this peak is not too high. And you can also see a slight difference for yaw. But the difference here is pretty minor and the same as the gain he is getting here is, is also pretty minor. And these are plots for D-term. You can see that despite Minchin Tune has more aggressive filters for D, he ends up with more noise on D. I think this is because gyro notch filters are letting more noise through. But it didn't cause any problems in there, no hot motors, it was all good. It's not too high. These are frequency throttle spectrogram. And these are gyro and these are D-term. Karate, this is Minchin, this is Karate, this is Minchin. So on gyro, especially on peach, you can see on Minchin preset this 200 Hz frame resonance, which doesn't really exist on karate preset because dynamic notch filter kills it pretty efficiently. 
But as I said, this is a pretty easy fix. You just go to dynamic notch filter and set this mean frequency to like 150. And then you add one more notch filter. Finally, let's check the black box explorer. Left side is Minchin preset and right side is Karate preset. Of course, you can see motors on Minchin preset are a little bit more noisy. And this is all because of the dynamic notch filter settings. This is all depends on your particular drone. But I can assure you that if your drone doesn't have a frame resonance below 250 hertz then it's just crazy a good racing frame doesn't have a frame resonances below 200 hertz and the decent frame doesn't have resonances below 150 hertz anyways let's check the set point tracking these are sharp pitch moves they both look pretty close to me. These are sharp roll moves at zero throttle. And here I gotta say I like mentioned plots a little bit better. Yes, it overshoots a little bit, but karate sort of undershoots, you can see. And that could be explained by slightly higher PID values for Minchin Tune. Damn it, I forgot to make my face bigger, now I need to compensate. So this is how we can review black boxes. Now this is a prof wash scenario, and this is not a freestyle prof wash. I think freestyle prof wash just doesn't exist anymore on the normal quads. This prof wash is after full throttle parallel to the ground for the entire second, then a very sharp 18 turn and then full throttle pretty much immediately in the opposite direction. So both Minchen and Karate are not really ideal here, it can be a little bit better. So for this scenario I would say it's a draw. Maybe Karate has a little higher amplitude but it's not much. Now this is even more crazy scenario, like an extreme of extremes for prof wash. So it's a crazy maneuver like this, full throttle forward parallel to the ground and then holding your throttle 100% you do a sharp, very sharp coordinated 180 with yaw and roll in the completely opposite direction. So it's full straight 180 and while holding full throttle. And uh, you should do this turn, I mean you shouldn't, but this is this is how I did it. So I did this turn with full throttle in less than 400 milliseconds while holding full throttle. And this is how you really stress your quad, your motors, and this is how you get a really hard prof wash oscillations. And again, it's not ideal here, but it looks kind of the same. Just a reminder guys, everything we're discussing here so far is not a big deal, it really doesn't matter a lot. So finally, my personal takeaway from it. First of all, no way, never I would be able to tell the difference in a blind test between Karate and Minchin Tune. Just like, no way. Also, I tried these presets on three different type of gyros and also no way I would be able to tell the difference. Minchin would not agree with me here together with some other fast pilots. He says he doesn't really like BMI and also a little bit skeptical about ICEM gyro. And I guess that's why Foxeer are making V4 also with MPU gyro. I have a full video coming about different type of gyros with the black boxes and all kind of stuff if I'm not lazy. But right now I can assure you that normal people, not robots, should not worry about different type of gyros. And coming back to Minchin Tune versus Karate Tune. So if you force me to choose and torture with a damping grease on my drone, then I would say I would prefer Karate filters but Minchin tune PID's values. And I usually fly Karate filters with D-term filter slider at 1.2. I think it gives a little bit less prof wash on like a very hard racing prof wash scenario. I also have to give you guys a disclaimer here because this was tested on Open Racer with heads up motors 1960 kV. Minchin go to motors are a little bit higher kV, so most likely his black box looks a little bit different. Also, I am pretty far from professional black box tuning, unlike these guys. So treat this video as, I don't know, tuning stand-up. Also, racing is a very strong mental game, so even if your tune is not ideal, it is critical that you think your drone is the best out there, with the best tune, best motors and best props, even if it's not true. And in this case, other racers can just pack their bags and go home, they're done. And if you think that something is slightly off with your drone or a tune or ESC settings, this little thing sits in your head and eats your brain from the inside, not allowing you to perform 
as you deserve. So if you're tuning by yourself, make sure that you like your tune, not anyone else. Well, other people also might like it, but you have to like it first. And Black Box is a secondary story, unless you like burning your motors and or something like really off with your drone. Anyways, I think you should stop worrying about tuning unless you really have problems. And listen to this guy. Your shit pilot, yes, your shit. Garbage. You must practice. Go outside, fly, burn packs. And also listen to this guy. Like and subscribe. No See you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. Pack number three. <laughs> <laughs>